at the end of that month, I lost 10 pounds of body fat. I'm a licensed clinical social worker with a passion to help women eat, move, and live a life of mental and physical wellness. If your heart's desire is to comfortably wear your pants without that band digging into your waist, leaving those deeply imprinted marks that mark you and you are well aware of the basics of weight loss eating mostly whole foods eating just enough staying hydrated and getting into movement and you're doing all of that but your body just won't let go of stubborn body fat hey twin nice to meet you i've climbed that mountain for years with over 70 pounds on my back and my body until i grab hold of one of the best pieces of weight loss advice ever to eliminate stubborn body fat and i'm going to share that with you right now. I do not want to waste your time. So if you know that deep in your bones, you are skeptical of things that seem too easy to be true, then this video might not be for you. On the flip side, if you are willing to stay open to the possibility that occasionally easy turns out to be viable, or you're just curious what my 50 year old behind has to say, pull up a chair. So you're going to the gym three, four times a week, eating clean. Maybe you've even invested in a personal trainer to help fill in those education gaps but your weight is slow to no moving resembling a child at the playground going down a slide like we that was me 70 pounds overweight with increased anxiety and digestion that felt like crap all day long let me tell you, the most satisfying $150 I spent was for a phone consultation with the nutritionist. The week prior to our chat, she had me outline my week of daily routines and meals. I was absolutely shocked when her advice was not directly related to diet, yet with great clarity, she said to me, unless you start asking for help, your health will continue to crumble and it will remain a challenge for you to lose stubborn weight. You know I protested. Wait just a minute. I have a personal trainer. I've checked in with my doctor. Everything is all clear. I'm eating clean. I'm following the advice on your podcast. So is that not asking for help? And at the end of the day, what does asking for help have to do with this ring of stubborn fat on my belly? All right. So this is the part where you want to block out all distractions so you can hear, hear me because her recommendation to help my body begin to shed some of those stubborn pounds, that stubborn belly fat had me no longer dragging myself to the gym or downstairs to work out but yet I had energy food cravings were not knocking at my door singing what can you do for me my angry alter ego Tracy she was no longer terrifying my family and my anxiety started to feel more manageable and I was losing weight what is this Cinderella putting on a slipper at the end of the movie help that helps your body get rid of stubborn body fat it is the type of help that recognizes that I or nor you cannot not and should not push ourselves to try to carry and juggle all of the hats that life throws at us. See, as moms, as women, we are generally the ones cooking all the meals, coordinating school activities, overseeing homework. That includes if you homeschool your kids like I did for 18 years. Let's not forget that we are at the age where we are helping our parents at a point in their lives where they need additional assistance going to their doctor's appointments. You know, all the hats. That phone consultation, it helped me to out Outline and determine how asking for help was the key to losing stubborn body fat and how not to mess it up which I did at first so it was explained to me that the body went under a great deal of stress ongoing stress causes large spikes in cortisol more than our bodies need and over time creates a slowing effect on the metabolism ie stubborn weight gain an overly stressed body one that is constantly in fight or flight mode doesn't have remaining resources to concern itself with your or my wish to see a lower number on the scale, lose some inches, build muscle, stop craving so that we overeat. The solution? Asking for help. You, like me, may need to resist the thoughts that asking for help makes you look weak, that it will require too much energy to explain to someone else how to do all of the fabulous things that you do, or you view asking for help as a sign that you aren't self-sufficient. All lies that I rejected and pretty soon my boy started cooking meals for the family a few days a week. I could care less if at the time those meals consisted of two main dishes pancakes and sausages and spaghetti having someone come once a month to do deep cleaning of the house at first it felt like a luxury or something I thought only wealthy people did I realized that my time has value and home chores was not the best use of my time pre-chopped grocery items yep I did that it allowed me to be able to prepare meals in less time giving me more time not to exercise
size and we'll talk about that in a second those small shifts huge when it came to letting go of the stubborn fat letting go by asking for help is not as scary as the voices inside of our heads make it out to be once I began to shun those voices I was able to look over my day look over my week and realistically select one item each day that I could delegate to my kids washing dishes putting away the dishes starting a load of laundry asking the hubby to take our boys to some of their sports or music practices even grab some groceries from the store services like shipped and instacart were not around when my boys were younger but oh if they were if you've tried those services I'd love to know what was your experience like I hope that by now I have convinced you to give yourself permission to consider asking a cousin or a niece if they would perhaps stand in for some of those doctor visits that you normally attend with your parents. Don't let perfectionism or control stand in your way. Now remember I had mentioned making a mistake that backfired. In order to tap into those stubborn fat sources and reduce stress, I had to not use that freed up time to get in other chores or attempt to tackle a project or run a bunch of errands. Don't do that. I did that for the first two weeks and I saw an increase in my weight. Once I did the plan the right way where I used that freed up time to rest, sit still, take a bath, take a nap, maybe do some deep restorative stretches, have a meal unhurried where I sat down and enjoyed it. Guess what? My nervous system began to calm down enough to release stress and stubborn weight. And did I mention that this plan included no working out, no restrictive eating for an entire month. And at the end of that month, I lost 10 pounds of stubborn body fat. Watch this video for a glimpse of some of the foods that I ate. 